Customers first, incredible quality, and affordable to all. At CBF Racing, we've been guided by those three principles since we first started doing business in 2009. And they've enabled us to become what is today the fastest growing provider of premium brackets, pulleys, and engine accessories, and one of the world's most complete selections of serpentine and V-belt kits. All of which are backed by an industry-leading lifetime warranty and the best-in-class customer service. To prepare for the LS Raptor installation, first open each box and lay out all the pulleys, brackets, and hardware. Check the packaging list carefully to ensure that you have everything you need and read the instructions carefully before beginning. If you haven't already done so, verify that the system you ordered is going to fit into your vehicle's application. CVF provides dimensions of each system online for both side to side and depth. It's a good idea to take photos of the current setup to refer back to if needed. Disconnect the battery. Evacuate all cooling and power steering fluids and disconnect the hoses. Disconnect all alternator and AC wiring and remove the existing drive system, including all accessories. Using a Scott Bright pad, clean all gasket surfaces down to the bare metal. Wipe them clean with acetone or alcohol. Use a thread chaser to clean threads and deposits at the bottom of bolt holes. Inspect the crank seal and balancer inertia ring for any brittle points, damages, or gaps. Replace if necessary. The next step is to install the water pump. Apply a small amount of sealer to both sides of the gasket. Then put the two bottom bolts through each side of the bracket and add the spacers, water pump, and gasket. Apply anti-seize to the tip of each bolt and fasten them to the engine finger tight. The engraving on the bracket and pulley should face the rear of the vehicle. Follow the same procedure for the middle of the top bolts, making sure each time that the gasket is still in alignment. Finger tighten all six, then torque them to the value recommended in the table. Now mount the power steering pump to the bracket using M8 by 40 millimeter socket head cap screws and torque to spec. If you're using an attached reservoir or hydro boost pump, refer to the separate instruction sheet for the relocation bracket. Next, attach the pulley to the flange and torque the bolt to spec. Install the alternator using an M8 by 25 millimeter socket head cap screw on the top bolt and 3 8 by 2.75 socket head cap screw and 3 8 lock nut on the bottom bolt and torque to spec. Using a 15-16 socket and an impact wrench, remove the pulley and fan that the alternator is shipped with. Install the new fan and alternator pulley, reusing the washer and nut. Install the cap using the screws provided. Install the compressor if you're running AC with fittings facing up. Use two M8 by 25 millimeter socket head cap screws and torque to spec. Also install air fitting 90 using the two M8 by 30 millimeter socket head cap screws and torque to spec. Lastly, install the AC cap. If you're not running AC, refer to the AC delete instructions. Now install the tensioner by using 3 8 by 3 inch button head cap screws and 3 8 lock nut. Leave the cover off until the belt is in place. Remove the center nut on your old balancer with an impact wrench. Install the proper hub adapter for your balancer using the included bolt and washer. Check to make sure it's seated properly on the balancer and torque to 37 foot-pounds plus 140 degrees. Install the crank pulley, remaining pulleys, and pulley covers using the included bolts and torque to spec from the chart. Using a half-inch drive ratchet or breaker bar to apply downward force on the tensioner and install the belt referring to the product photos at cbfracing.com for proper routing. Finally, install the idler tension cover using the two 832 by half inch socket head cap screws. At CBF Racing, we pride ourselves on delivering customer service that is nothing short of legendary. If you ever have an issue with one of our products, we'll bend over backwards to make sure that you're satisfied.